Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penrich here. Quick little update before I do the uh, late news for those who don't want to stay up or, or watch online. Let's get right to the trends we've seen today. And I'm not going to lie, the trends today and now looking at tonight's guidance is shifting further east a lot. And I'm not ready to bail completely on the chance of snow, but don't count on this being a big snow event uh, because it is really beginning with is one to two inches, but it's probably trending more towards a trace to an inch and, and I'll explain why. The one thing for sure is we're gonna have some good rain come in tonight. This front looks pretty potent right now, which is one of the reasons I'm a little hesitant to just say this probably not gonna be nothing because it's gonna dump some pretty good rain tomorrow into tomorrow night and temperatures are gonna fall. So we could at least at the very least have some high impacts for some, some black ice on Friday morning because if you look at the temperatures behind this front, that is legit Arctic air heading our way. So how this unfolds, and I'll show you, uh, the front's pushing off to the east. A pretty wet day tomorrow. It, and again, it's primarily rain for most areas. There will be a little snow in the mountains, but um, we could get a half an inch of rain tomorrow out of this system. And then the front moves through and the bottom drops out. And you see behind it, it doesn't look like much. There are some snow showers on the backside. So with falling temperatures, snow showers, and freezing of wet pavement, it may not exactly be a picnic for Friday morning. Um, even if it's not a winter wonderland. There's a lot of freezing drizzle and some snow showers in there as well. Now, what's changed is most of the guidance wants to stall this front further offshore and take this area of low pressure right here and keep it further away, which kind of pushes all the wintry weather to the coast, which seems weird, but you see all that pink out towards the coast that basically is going to bypass us and just give us a glancing blow. But the reason that I'm not totally out of the woods for this thing yet is because that's really close. And any little shift back to the west, what the front stalls here and the low tracks up it, then we've got some big time issues. So just to show you what I mean by that is what we run into in this scenario is if, if we do see that thing shift offshore, like we've seen today, um, that wet easterly track is going to make for almost no snow, maybe just a trace to an inch. But let's say it shifts back to the west, um, we could see it bring a whole lot more uh, wintry precip. So that's still in the cards, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm thinking right now as far as our future cast, kind of showing you the setup here. Uh, you see the rain tomorrow, again, some heavy rain at times, 40s, but watch the temperature fall here um, tomorrow night. And the interesting thing is around midnight to 1 a.m., notice these temperatures all getting close to freezing and some scattered snow showers and even some mix there on top of the fact that the roads are wet and things could eat icy. So um, while not a ton of snow, that's probably still a pretty slick Friday morning um, with some black ice. But then during the day Friday, um, the temperature never gets back to freezing. And so even though the precipitation is much further east, you see the little batch of snow showers there in the evening. That doesn't look like much. The temperature never gets above freezing. So at the very least, this is going to be an incredibly cold setup. Um, for us Friday, Friday night, and into early Saturday, um, and maybe Saturday mid-afternoon we get into the mid-30s. So I've adjusted the snow map quite a bit. I'm actually going to make an adjustment here at 11 o'clock, um, and I'll make it right in front of you here as, as I'm doing this. What I'm basically thinking is I'm going to keep this kind of the same right now because that trace to one inch is definitely going to be something we got to keep a close eye on um, because I do think that trace to one inch could potentially still cause some slick road conditions, but probably not your winter storm criteria, winter weather advisory, probably for the most part. But you get an idea that trace to one inch with two inches more likely off to the east here. Now, again, those aren't huge totals, but I want to show you something. Look at the winter weather impacts still occasionally in the, the medium range to low range um, for that little amount of snow. And that, that goes to show you just how impactful this could be on the road surfaces out there. Um, and that's why this is such a concern. So let's go back to this, this model here for a second. And I'm going to stop this right about here. Uh, and one of the cool things you can do on our system is make subtle shifts in the model guidance to see, you know, what it looks like. So let's do something here. I'm going to shift everything 50 miles west. Just 50 miles. Oh, I went east, sorry. Went the wrong direction. We want to go west. Let's go west 50 miles. So that's 50 miles west. If we shift it 75, that 
that's the that's the range where it brings that snow really close. That's about 70 miles west. That's about 50. Um, so, you know, that's something to keep an eye on. That's not a huge change, but that's enough that we could get snow, especially Union County, Eastern Mecklenburg County, those areas. So that's what we're watching tonight. The bottom line here is this is not going to be a huge snow event, nothing remotely close to what happened on Sunday, but it could be one of those kind of catch you off guard kind of nuisance events where there's a little bit of snow, maybe some freezing mist initially, and then everything freezing because of the rain that falls on Thursday, causing some slick roads. So be cautious of black ice Friday morning um, and again uh, Friday night into Saturday morning. But don't look for snowmaking, sledding, or snowmen um, with this setup. It just does not look like we're going to see that amount of snow. Of course, I will post updates uh, throughout the day on Thursday because once the front gets here, we'll know if it starts slowing down, then maybe we got something more to deal with. But if it keeps chugging along and gets to the coast, then this is going to be kind of less of an issue for us, okay? So everybody, uh, stay tuned. I'll post another vlog tomorrow, and we'll have updates throughout Friday. But as always, stay safe. Be prepared, be prepared to be warm because it is going to be a cold, cold weekend with highs struggling to get out of the 30s and morning lows in the teens and 20s.